So I've been messing around with the barricade for the last few weeks and I couldn't help but notice how different the new colorways were in terms of fit and feel versus the old kind of prototype colorways that were introduced last year. I also just was out at Indian Wells last week for a whole week of vacation with my family as well as going and I decided to bring the K-Swiss Ultra Shot 3 around to walk in all week. And after I got back, I thought both of these shoes kind of deserved a second look. So let's see what's up with these mostly under the radar our flagship shoes. Here we go. And also a big thanks to Tennis Point USA for providing me with these shoes to review. Of course, they have no editorial control over this video and the opinions are completely my own. But if you do want to grab a pair of either of these, I do have a link in the description below. All right, so let's get into both of these shoes. As always, four categories, five points each, speed, comfort, durability, and playability, total out of 20. But I also want to add a fit section at the end, which hopefully will help with some sizing questions if you have them. So in terms of speed, the Barricade is not the fastest fastest shoe in a straight line because of the more bulbous, more rounded toe, but they do have just unreal kind of side to side all court speed. Now playing in these again just really drove home how lightning quick these change direction and how much feel you get of the court underneath your foot. I'd say except for the Diodora B icon, these are the fastest shoes on the market when looking at kind of a pure tennis style movement shoe. Whereas in the Ultra Shot 3, and as you can see I wore the living daylights out of it, I found these were more useful for more straight line movement, more serve and volleying type technique. And the speed in the Ultra Shot 3 really comes in its stopping power. The uppers are just so well designed that they can really blunt a lot of inertia and control more velocity versus assist in picking up speed. You know, that lower density midsole plus the wider treads also combine with that design to make these kind of a better shoe to help control your pace rather than create it. So for speed, I'm giving giving the Barricade a 5 out of 5 and the Ultra Shot 3 a 3 out of 5 with the caveat that if you are going to buy the Ultra Shot, you're buying it to help control your speed. So take that for what you will. In terms of comfort, I honestly don't know what happened with the Barricade from last year's initial release until now. There's not nearly as much forefoot cramping. The heel and ankle roughness weren't anything like in the original iteration of the shoe. Now this new shoe does have a little bit more of a forefoot break in over the big toe joint, a bit more creasing. I'm actually starting to wonder if just the original release came out, maybe during a bad time in the supply chain, maybe some less forgiving materials had to be used, and maybe now that things are getting back to normal, the quality of the shoe is kind of rising commensurate with that. I, I'm not sure, but there is a definite difference between this model and the one I tried last year. The Ultra Shot 3, however, much different story. You know, the midsole foam on these is as plush as it gets, maybe aside from Zoom Strobel, and the uppers are that multi-layer textile, and wearing them for a week straight kind of a Disney walk around the city at the BNP Paribas Open. Never had a tired foot. Same on court. They just feel so resilient, which I also said in my initial review of these. And even just looking at the two shoes, you know, the Barricade just looks like a real kind of caged in shoe. The Ultra Shot 3 just looks like a giant bear hug around your foot. So for comfort, I'm giving the Barricades a 3 out of 5 and the Ultra Shots a 5 out of 5. Now, although the Barricade is much better than its initial production, it is still a Barricade. It's meant for performance, really not plushness. Now, in terms of durability, the Barricade is kind of a two-edged sword. The midsole does have this huge truss system underneath of it that really stress shields the foam, and the outsole tread is just as good as any other Adidas performance rubber, but the uppers just have almost no protection. So if you are a dragger or a slider, I'd actually invest in some skate wax. Since they are these molded uppers, you can just wax them like a ledge or a rail, and it will lower the friction. Just remember, these are going to still be pretty exposed when dragging or sliding, which these shoes are actually great for in terms of performance. The K-Swiss, however, are monster trucks. The uppers are reinforced. That toe drag guard right here is that really intuitive accordion pattern that bends with the foot. They've got super beefy treads. The only really vulnerable thing on the K-Swiss is the foam because it is a little less dense and doesn't have that super stiff shank like the Barricades. So for durability, I'm giving the Barricade a four out of five because you can modify them to improve that. Otherwise, they would have been a three out of five. And the Ultra Shot 3 gets a 
4 out of 5. It would have been a 5 out of 5 if not for the midsole foam. That's really the only part of this shoe kind of different than the rest of it in terms of its durability. Now, playing wise, the Barricade is like a rally car. They're meant for tough, really aggressive footwork, really rugged play. And if playability were the only category I judged, the Barricade would be at the top of every list, if I'm being honest. And in contrast to that, the Ultrashot 3 kind of plays like the Soul Court Boost, just maybe a bit more maneuverable. They're meant more for harnessing your foot, and they're also meant for more protection, resilience underfoot. They're also a great hardcore sliding shoe, which is a little more durability than the Barricade. I also like how well balanced they are, and that also kind of aids in that sliding. They're not going to be as low to the ground feeling as some others, but your foot also won't be aching them after playing either. So for playability, I'm giving the Barricades an easy 5 out of 5, and the Ultra Shots a 4 out of 5. Now with some small tweaks, the Ultra Shot could be a 5 out of 5, which hopefully we'll see in the coming years. And in terms of fit, I'd say both run the same size, whichever you get in either is good for the other. Both run slightly tapered, so a 2E would go up one half size in both. And if I had to pick one that's better for a 2E, I'd probably say the Ultra Shot. Also, if you're a very high arch player, the Barricade does run a little low, so expect a longer break-in period versus the Ultra Shot, where that's really not a huge concern. And if your foot does run flat, I'd say as long as it's not wide, the Barricade with that truss system is amazing. The K-Swiss is going to be good while the shoe is new. However, that arch support is going to wane as the foam wanes. So I think in terms of durability of arch support, the Barricade's got it. I think in terms of initial arch support, the K-Swiss probably has it. But I'd also love to know your experiences with both these shoes. It's been a while since both of them have been the flagships of their respective brands. So love to know if you've had the same dealings with them or maybe had a different experience, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see the best of the rest of what 2022 has to offer in terms of tennis, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next video.